Welcome back, my dears. If you are new here, my name is Pamela, or Pam, to those of you that belong to the Pam Fam. And on this channel, I provide fragrance recommendations and reviews and some useful tips to help you curate and care for your perfume collection. Oh my goodness. What in the Judy Jetson? I cannot believe we are in 2024 and I'm sharing my first perfume tray of 2024 with you. Wow, can I get a hand clap for the consistency? <laughs> if you are ready to see what I've got for January 2024, let's get started. First up, we have Pretty by Rose Gold Fragrance Company. And guys, this perfume gets me compliments every single time that I wear it. If you didn't know, Rose Gold Fragrance Company is a small black owned fragrance brand and they put out some bangers. You really need to get your nose on top their fragrances, but particularly we're talking about pretty here today. This is a well done fruity, rosy combination where you have blueberry, you've got some herbs and spices in there, and then you've got rose. This is a phenomenal perfume. Get your nose on pretty. You will not be disappointed. Compliments are going to keep coming all day long. Next up is one of my favorite purchases for 2023. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. Oh my goodness. From the story this fragrance tells, the opening of candied lemon in the middle where you've got that panna cotta so you feel like you're in a French, you know, a French cafe or something. Oh my gosh, it's so sexy. It tells a beautiful story in the skin. It's very simple, but it's very elevated to me on my skin anyways. And that's why it's in my perfume tree this month because I could not put it down as you can see from the dent in it. Next up is Catalina Herrera's Good Girl Leger, one of the most underrated fragrances, I think. This is so beautiful. It opens fresh and sweet. The dry down is where the magic happens though because that Dolce de Leche, it melts into the Tonka bean to create the most stunningly beautiful creamy gourmand base ever. Again, this is highly underrated fragrance and this is Good Girl Leger by Catalina Herrera. I added this fragrance Roses de Valenza by Maison Lancôme because I really and truly have been neglecting it. And it's one of my favorite perfumes in my entire collection. I remember my unboxing video, how I was affected by Roses de Valenza. So I think this is a good buy. Oh, I'm excited. She is, okay, let's start over. Let's start over. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh I was so excited. I still am when I wear Roses de Valenza. So it opens up with tangerine and some fruits in the middle, some nuts. It's very fruity, nutty. It's got a little booziness to it as well. A little jamminess. I would consider this one of the jammiest rose fragrances I have in my entire collection. Roses Barbaranza needs some more love and that's why it's in this month's perfume tray. Next fragrance on the tray is Gabrielle Essence by Chanel. Oh my gosh. I was just fiddling around with my collection and I sprayed this and I'm like, wow, how am I not wearing this? How have I been missing out on this in 2023? So yeah, this is going to be a banger for me this year. Another fragrance I definitely plan on wearing some more. Now, what I would say is that if you layer Gabrielle Essence, you will find more enjoyment out of it. So if you own it and you find that the fragrance just seems too demure or it just seems like, you know, oh my God, I'm kind of tired of smelling this, try layering it. I layered it with Chanel Number no. 5 Body Oil. <gasps> Oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, trust me when I say that combination is everything. It is an easy combination to wear. I was so surprised. This Chanel number no. 5 body oil that I have gotten in my collection has amped up all my Chanel perfumes in my opinion. So this is Gabrielle Chanel. The other Chanel that I included for January is Chanel number no. 5 Eau Premier. Wowzer. This is such a beautiful take on the original, the OG Chanel number no. 5. Now, I'm going to tell you all here, if you don't have that Chanel number no. 5 body oil, you need to go and get in your nose on it because layering this, with that Chanel number no. 5 body oil elevates this fragrance even more. This is brighter, it's crisper, but oh my gosh, it is just a happy fragrance in my opinion. Next fragrance is Dior. Yes, guys, I'm doing a lot of designer fragrances. Dior Poison Girl or the Toilette. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally just opened up this box a couple of weeks ago. I've had this fragrance for some time. I didn't realize that I still had the fragrance unboxed and I went looking for it. My old bottle because I, I was halfway through another bottle. I was like, where is my bottle? Then I remember I sold it a while ago. So I pulled Dio Poison Girl out because I was planning. Look, I'm telling y'all. 
everything has a purpose in my collection this year so this one it was one of my favorites it's just a bright friendly you know how can i say I, I use the word effervescent a lot but that's what i get with this plus it's a little sexy too this is the eau de toilette version and i know that i'm gonna have to douse myself down in this but i don't mind it i really enjoy wearing this fragrance from what i can remember so i can't wait to dive into it this month next in my perfume tray is Oudgasm Vanilla Oud 36 by Kayali. I found that I want to wear this some more. I'm just intrigued by the vanilla and the oud mixed together because I don't really have that much of a combination like that in my collection. And when I was playing around with vanilla oud, I felt like this fragrance is giving me more dry wood than vanilla. The oud is there, but it's not heavy. It's more woody on my skin. That's what coming out from my pores so i want to play with it some more this month do some layering combinations with some other perfumes that i have in my tray and see what i could come up with i'm actually excited i'm looking forward to layering vanilla oud with devotion with good girl leger also with um some others that's coming up later on that you're gonna see i'm really excited about having this perfume in my collection so let's see how it performs. La Nuit Fresson. This is by Lancome. Guys, I I think I love this bottle more than I love the perfume. Oh my gosh, look at this pretty bottle. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to figure out if I want to keep this in my collection. And that's why it's in my January perfume tray. Because I noticed I've had it for years. I have not been reaching for it. It should have had a bigger dent than it has now. So it's in the January perfume tray as a test to see whether I'm going to keep it or not. Speaking of beautiful bottles, this is Prada Paradox. This is another fragrance that I, I was not really on board with because it smells so similar to other fragrances that I had in my collection. But what I ended up doing is getting rid of those fragrances and I kept Prada Paradox. I am putting this on my January fragrance tray because I want to see if I can make this, you know, in January, you know, Put a dent in it to where it's like half bottle actually think i can do it because this is such a fruity bright it's a very in my in my opinion a playful fragrance so it's not a fragrance that is like serious and sexy and you know it is sexy but it's not like you know overtly sexy so it's easy to wear at work it's easy to wear if i'm going out shopping it's easy to wear like an easy grab so i'm hoping i can put a bigger dent in this fragrance so this is Para, prada paradox i can't even talk prada paradox shouldn't be a surprise that i have another kiali in my perfume tray to be honest with you, it really shouldn't come as a surprise because if you go back and you look at my other <laughs> perfume tray videos, my monthly perfume trays, you'll see I have like two and three K alleys popped up in there. So this is Love Fest Burning Cherry, one of my very favorite fragrances overall in my collection. But this is a very good layering fragrance. It really transforms perfumes. Now, I plan to wear this with Vanilla Oud. I also plan to wear it a little bit with um, the fragrance I just featured, which is the La Nuit Tresor. And I also have a combo to wear it with Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, I can wear it by itself, but I prefer layering Love Fest Burning Cherry. I absolutely love this perfume. Guys, I love cherry so much. I'm including Tom Ford's Lost Cherry in this month's perfume tray rotation. I just have to. I haven't been given this fragrance a fair shake. Well, I can't say a fair shake because I have been wearing it just not a lot. I haven't featured it a lot. This is the OG. Lost Cherry is the OG. Everyone else, all the other cherry fragrances out there, utilize Lost Cherry by Tom Ford as the blueprint. Point blank, period. And the performance is where it's lacking. So no wonder everybody else is looking, you know, people are looking for other options. If you like cherry fragrances, give yourself, you know, go to the store, try and get a sniff of Lost Cherry. You don't necessarily have to buy this one. There are others out there. But this is in my January perfume tray because one, I'm trying to finish up this bottle and crack open my bigger bottle. And two, I love it. 
Comment below if you like cherry fragrances and if you own Lost Cherry and what your thoughts are on it. I have what I consider a lot of decants in my collection. I have 3 mils, 5 mils, and 10 mils. Mostly 10 mils. I use decants as a way to sample perfumes that I'm either intrigued by, interested in, you know, but I don't want to pay the full price for. You know, it's just basically a testing, a tester figure out whether I want to buy a full bottle. As you can tell by some of these dents, I actually really like some of these fragrances, but I'm not sure still if I want to buy a full bottle. So I'm going to wear them in January and figure it out from there, whether or not I'm going to go full mode, commit, buy a full bottle because I love it, or whether I'm just going to pass on it. 1861 Decast by Zerjoff has these elements that I love in the chords. You know, it's balsamic, it's citrus, it's Got a little tobacco, you know, so you know, all know I love vanilla. And then, of course, you've got Awaz Helwa. Guys, this is high up on a price point, so I have to be very careful about this one. I don't want to regret it. And Confetto by Perfume Roma. I know I love this fragrance, but I don't know. I love the other Perfume Aromas more, so I'm still going back and forth on Confetto. But Fire at Will by Javoy. Yeah, guys, I really want a bottle. But I want it at a good price. So if you know anybody selling a, a bottle at a decent price, please let me know. Have not subscribed to the channel. If you'd like this type of content, it's providing value to you. Please consider subscribing and, you know, joining the family. So my dears, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!